Hi guys, welcome back to Flora Fun and Food. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to show you a really easy dinner to make um, using your waffle iron, some puff pastry, and whatever filling you want. I did this years ago. Um, I think I saw it on Pinterest, so if I can find the link that inspired me to do this, I will post it in the description. But my husband specifically requested it for dinner tonight, so we're going to go ahead and get it done. I'll probably heat up some tomato soup or something with these because they're basically like a grilled cheese sandwich, but we're using our waffle iron and stuffing uh, a really flaky, delicious puff pastry with whatever filling we want. So let's get started. Okay, here are our choices for tonight. Um, I also have mozzarella and pepperoni, like shredded mozzarella and pepperoni slices that you could do for like a pizza style sandwich, but Keegan wants provolone and ham. So first step is to unwrap our puff pastry and get it on our preheated waffle iron. So puff pastries come in um, the freezer section and there are two puff pastries per box. These are, you can make these, but these are kind of finicky to make, so I prefer to just buy them. They're cheap enough that I am willing to spend the money on the convenience of just having it pre-made. Um, I pulled this out of the freezer this morning and put it in the refrigerator so that it's nice and soft. You don't want to let it thaw too much because then they can get kind of doughy and sticky. So we'll go ahead and open this one up, and it just unrolls around this little piece of paper here so it doesn't stick together. So mine's still slightly frozen, but for the most part it is soft and pliable. So, so we're gonna lightly grease our preheated waffle iron with some cooking spray on top and bottom. And you need to make sure you have your ingredients ready to throw on because this starts to cook fairly quickly. So I'm gonna get my two slices of cheese ready and my ham ready here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this on there like that. We'll put a piece of cheese. We'll put some ham. like four slices of ham and then another piece of provolone and then we're going to go ahead and fold our pastry in. Mine should be a little more thawed than it is but we'll make it work. And try to make sure you cover your cheese, otherwise it will make a mess in your waffle iron. All right, so we'll get that going. And mine actually has a snap that holds it shut, so we'll let it start cooking. All right, while that is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and heat up some creamy tomato basil soup from Costco. I love this soup and it is just so, much better than the canned stuff. So we'll heat up a little bit of soup for each of us. And save some for later. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip my waffle iron there. So I can see some of the juice kind of leaking out, so I'm gonna just check on it here. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it another maybe minute 30 seconds, something like that. All right, let's go ahead and spray our waffle iron again. Add our other puff pastry here. And I'm gonna do provolone. The rest of this ham and then some shredded Colby Jack cheese on mine. Now you could add really anything you wanted to this. You could do um, like a breakfast one and add bacon and eggs. You could add like a 
You could do a pizza one with pepperoni and mozzarella. You could really just kind of stuff it with whatever you wanted. This one is done. Now that is kind of the issue with this is it kind of gums up your um, waffle iron, but we can get that clean pretty easily. Alrighty, there we have it. This is a very easy, quick dinner that's just kind of a new take on a grilled cheese and tomato soup. So, all right, let's cut into this and see what it looks like. So as you can see, it is flaky, it is gooey, it is delicious. Now you could add some type of sauce to this, whatever you wanna put inside this, the possibilities are really endless. But I like to dip my grilled cheese in my tomato soup, so that's what we're gonna do tonight. But I hope this inspired you to try and make something of your own. Literally the possibilities are endless. So if you guys enjoyed this really fast, really easy, really delicious, what's for dinner type video, please make sure and give it a thumbs up and go over to my channel and subscribe for more content like this. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you very, very soon. Thanks guys. Bye.